wanted to go over a circuit that I've had a little bit of luck with. Um, this is the Hendershot coil here, uh, the 7.8 nanofarad capacitor and L1, L2, L3, L4. Um, I wired them quite differently because I have a 5 inch diameter uh, coil so I was trying to uh, extrapolate up uh, the number of turns and this is just a complete guess on my part but um, it may not be crucial or at least for these early experiments um, so L1 has 36 turns of 24 AWG copper enamel wire L2 has 165 turns of the smaller 30 AWG L3 has 31 turns of 24 AWG I, I use use this white plastic coated wire um, but it was too thick um, so then I changed my mind and went to uh, copper enamel for L4 same number of turns on these two um, so I have a pulse generator uh, and it's basically pulsing L1 but I'm trying to hook up a sort of an Hendershot schematic here sort of just sort of half of it the the real schematic would have um, this sort of thing replicated on the other side as well um, and wouldn't have a pulse generator would have this uh, magnet solenoid thingy but um, so uh, by s stimulating this thing with pulses I was curious uh, if I could uh, see a voltage here and um, uh, I'll, I'll show you what occurs I have uh, the scope probes here so we are seeing, seeing um, the effect of pulsing here on L1 okay here's the Hendershot coil we've got um, L1 under this black tape behind it is L2 uh, I use white wire for L3 and copper enamel wire for L4. Um, both of these have the same number of... L3 and L4 have the same number of turns, but L1 in plastic is a little bit thicker, so that's why we have a bigger width here. Um, but these coils are essentially equivalent. Um, so I'm pulsing this thing at this frequency, 20.5 kilohertz, with a 12 volt battery and this is what we see on L1 which is the one with the capacitor the tank circuit and this is what we see in terms of a load I have a neon and it's lighting uh, the voltage is 43 volts AC so we're not up in the 110 ish range that would be needed to light the 60 watt bulb but we are close um, now it may, may be that I need to go a little bit higher frequency, but at this frequency, um, these are the results I'm seeing. I have a uh, 30 microfarad cap here and a 100 microfarad cap here. And everything's wired up with clip leads down to this thing. And here is the 5 to 1 transformer. This is the sort of 120 volt side and this is the 24 volt side. Now I can uh, dial down lower frequencies and we see the pulsing and then ringing, pulsing, ringing. But when I do that, the voltage drops and the light is not lighting. So there's an element of tuning here that plays a role. So at that frequency, around 20 kilohertz, we are at about 40, 40 volts. The light lights. Waveform looks like this. Um, my diameter here is smaller. I have a 5 inch diameter and 57 pegs. And the cap, the, the can, can with the cap around it is uh, smaller than what Hendershot had. But it's close.